Maxine, as within a review, this may contain spoilers. I like the movie. This is a sequel to X and is the third and possibly the last film in the Ty West Maxine or X series. I haven't heard any news of there being more, but maybe they're waiting to see how well this does at the box office. One of the ways we knew that we were going to get another movie in the series was if you stayed to the end credits, we would get what looked like an intro or mini trailer to the next film. There was no end credit scenes in this movie. So that kind of tells me that perhaps there won't be. The story is set in the 1980s in Hollywood and follows Maxine, played by Mia Goth, as she tries to break away from the adult industry and auditions for a horror film. All the while, some mysterious figure is following Maxine and killing those close to her. The mysterious figure threatens to expose what she did in the film X. If you didn't watch X, I think you can still enjoy this movie. The story Maxine referenced X, but more so her childhood. I think a mistake in the story was not having a better integration with X though. Having flashbacks to the events that happened in X would not only have tied the two films together, but also given the audience a visual refresh slash reminder of what Maxine has been through and give better context to the audience that hasn't seen X. Maxine is a character that is very confident at least on the surface. She's ultra determined to make a name for herself that everything else is secondary. Being this focus on fame sometimes makes Maxine lack emotion. When those around her start dying and when she's threatened with getting exposed, she does show some concern, but there was a little too much I'm still going to move forward vibe that made me feel there was the lost opportunity to make her seem more human. At times her character seems one dimensional and having flashbacks to X could have been a way to make Maxine contemplate that her actions have consequences. As I was watching the movie, it reminded me of I Know What He Did Last Summer. It has that type of vibe, with a mysterious figure knowing her past and using it against Maxine. Is it obvious to figure out who the killer is? It wasn't to me, but my colleagues said he figured out pretty early and guessed correctly. With this possibly being the last in the X series, did it end in a satisfying manner? Obviously, that's going to vary from person to person, but it was an okay ending for me. I don't look back and tell myself that this was an awesome series. If I had to rank the movies in order, I enjoyed the first one the most, which is X. The second one, Pearl, was my least favorite, and Maxine is right behind the first one. The common thread for me in the series is someone wanting more for the life, whether it's Maxine, who wants to be famous, or Pearl, who dreams of having a glamorous life. It's interesting how the three movies weave together, and when you think about each film and how they intersect with each other, they sound more interesting than what we got on screen. Actually, seeing the final result wasn't as satisfying as it sounds on paper. Overall, I did enjoy Maxine, and it may be worth watching. If you stuck around this long, why not give the video a like, try it out, see if it works, subscribe, check out my other videos, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the film. See you in the next review.